It's one of the first 2017s to hit the road in Florida. Two came into the dealer. It was this Nightfall Gray with the black wheels and one of those limited ice blue metallic ones and it had the black wheels. The ice blue metallic and the black wheels, I don't know, they really didn't match and that thing was like close to 50 grand. It had every bell and whistle, every interior, cooled seats and just every single thing you could possibly think of that had it. This is basically LT1. I don't know if you can even see in here. Manual six speed. No longer has an e-brake. It has an electronic e-brake that handles out of your way. Way more comfortable. Pedal distance to me is more comfortable. The seats are thicker, more bolster than the 15. It just fits me better. This armrest is more usable. Way more usable on the 17 or 16. I think they're identical. The only thing that's going to be different is going to be that it's going to have this 50 badge on the steering wheel. So it is a 2017. Uh, yeah, so manufacturer is 616. So it was just made. It's basically fresh out the box. Literally. Um, does have the dual mode exhaust. I hope this is coming out. It's so bright. I can't even see my phone. Dual mode exhaust. The spoiler is off of the trunk lid. I'm, in my 2015, I'd have to go to the spray and wash and spray under that spoiler to get all the leaves and dirt and crap from Florida out from under it. Um, the back window is definitely smaller. It's very close to the rear. I don't know how I'm going to get it tinted. That thing is probably five millimeters off of the, the um, deck lid. Or not deck lid, but package tray or rear, whatever you call it. Um, but it still has the Brembo brakes, front and rear, it's a little dirty, that's what it still does though, it still does draw that dirt up from the back, not as bad, and this rear end is definitely cleaner, cleaner than the um, 15, the 15 had that textured cheap plastic look to it. It was all right when you cleaned it, but once it would get dirty, it would really look bad. I love the black wheels. Um, it fits me better. I'm a big fella. To me, there's more room, even though it's smaller. Got the one LT. Or the, yeah, the one LT. Or the LT one. Hello. I'm thinking one LE. I wanted to get a one LE, but that's out of my budget. But for what this cost, I think the sticker was thirty-nine thousand. They didn't come off the sticker too much, being that it's a 17 and it's still July of 16. But this is the only one that was manual with the black wheels and the color I liked. So I highly recommend if you've got a 14 or 15 or just a 5th gen, you might want to go down to the dealer and check out a 6th gen. Because I don't see how you can think it possibly looks worse. I mean, I guess everybody has their own taste. I love the look of the 5th, but... I really like this one. The A pillars are way skinnier. You can see out better. Um, just the way it shifts, your arm, when you're shifting, your arm doesn't hit any of the cup holders. There's no stupid e brake lever over there anymore for the passenger. You have those knee braces in there. The seats got way more padding, way more comfortable. The spoiler's off the back. It's stiffer, it rides faster, or rides, <laughs> rides smoother and it's stiffer, which doesn't make any sense, but it, you'll see. Look at this little scratch. Oh, Lord. But, yeah, it was fresh off the car hauler, man. But, yeah, it's got all kind of bells and whistles. The LED lights are just phenomenal. So, a lot of things come on the 1SS. You know, I got Apple CarPlay in there. I use the navigation right off my phone. Pandora, iTunes Radio. You can actually text message right from your steering wheel. You know, through Siri, you know, Siri sucks, but unless you talk like a robot, it works pretty good. Yeah, you, you have to talk like the robot, then she'll understand you. It doesn't have those big, thick seams down the roof like the, the Gen 5s do. It's a lot, it's just a lot more snappy. The NPP dual mode exhaust is, it's got more of a crisp pop to it. 
Um, I had the uh, NPP on my other, which I liked. But this one, you, of course, you can control on the dash. But if you got a fifth gen and you're thinking about a new one, don't go to the dealer because you'll end up driving one home like I did.